This is yet another one of those videos that is going to piss off both of the fan bases that involved. But I wanted to get some discussion out there, because this was brought up on NHL Network on TV the other day, and it was a really crazy idea, so we are going ahead and tackling it. Buckle up. Today we're talking about the Ottawa Senators and their captain of the team. He's a brute force, he is a scoring force, and we have already made a video talking about the Senators' potential shopping of this captain. It's Brady Kachuk. You know him, you love him, he's a hard menace to play against, and he is very good. But, as we had talked about the other day in what was reported on the Cam and Strick podcast, it's apparent that as early back as about a week ago, week ago, the Ottawa Senators were kind of tinkering around the market, taking a few calls and making a few calls and trying to determine what they could get in exchange for a Brady Kachuk. Not necessarily because they want him out, but because if the Senators were trying to bolster up their team, you know, sometimes you have to look at all options available. And while Brady Kachuk is a good player, we talked about all this and more, he could still be seen as a guy that could fetch even more stuff. Now in the video two days ago, I kind of said that I don't think it's actually possible. I think Brady Kachuk is just going to stay in Ottawa. The guy's signed on for a long time. He's captain Ottawa at this point. And whatever value a team offers Ottawa in exchange for Brady is most likely not going to move the needle enough in Ottawa's POV to actually make the trade. But that doesn't stop Mike Rupp from going over onto NHL Network the other day and talking about how, in his opinion, the New Jersey Devils may make a push for Brady Kachuk in the offseason. There is the entire segment here. It garnered 300,000 views, and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go ahead and listen to the audio yourself. Now, there are a bunch of replies going out there and saying, oh, the price starts with Jack and Luke Hughes. Playing in Newark sounds awful. And a whole bunch of other people kind of satirically saying, oh yeah, your untouchables wouldn't get our untouchable captain. Oh, I'm just throwing it out there. Rupper, come on, man. So, Sens fans and Devils fans seem pretty pissed off about this idea. Which is why I wanted to make this video, because I wanted to start a civil war in the comments section. Okay, no, just kidding. Um, let's go over to another article that was published on Sportkita.com. The reason I'm bringing up this article is because they summarize what it was that Mike Rupp said on the program. It's easier for me to screenshot it, put on the screen, and we can get the quotes as to what Rupp says. Take a look at this right here. Rupp summed up his rationale for the suggestion, saying, If I'm the New Jersey Devils, I'm picking up the phone. I'm calling the Ottawa Senators, and I'm telling them you could pick the roster here and go get Brady Kachuk. That's what I'm doing. There's a couple of untouchable guys in New Jersey, but New Jersey needs a guy like that. I think Jersey will be doing something big. Maybe not that big, because Ottawa doesn't want to give up Brady Kachuk. The guy's unbelievable. I'm just saying, Ottawa's got to shake something up there. I don't know what they're going to do, but I know both teams are going to shake it up in a big way. And so Rupp kind of suggests it, and then he walks it back, but then he says, oh yeah, no, the Devils need to get a guy like this. But then he says the Senators would not trade a guy like this. It's very all over the place, but because the idea was tossed out there, it was contrived in somebody's mind and then spoken about into reality on the media, now we have articles and forum posts and comment section threads going out there and discussing the idea of Brady Kachuk getting traded over to the New Jersey Devils. Now, before we dive into some of the extra proposals, I wanted to go out there and just talk about this idea in and of itself. Now, if you want to talk about fits, you want to talk about guys who make an impact on New Jersey already, hey, the big two, I'd say, the Hughes bros, Jack and Luke, it's a pretty good connection they have with the Kachucks because I think most people are familiar with this, but the Hughes family and the Kachuk family are very close. Brady, Matthew, Quinn, Jack, and Luke are all pretty tight, so seeing some sort of an acquisition where Brady could join Jack and Luke, assuming, of course, Jack and Luke don't get traded in some sort of a potential deal, it'd be a really nice reunion of American bros going out there onto the ice and doing their thing together. That's not to discredit, of course, the camaraderie that Brady has built with other players on the Ottawa Senators, but there is a link here between Brady and Quinn, specifically, that extends beyond to the other brothers and their relationships. Furthermore, to this point, having a guy like Brady Kachuk would add an element of grit that the New Jersey Devils just don't really have. Outside of Curtis McDermott, honestly, I'd say the Devils are kind of a soft team. None of these guys really go out there and ruffle feathers in the same way that a Brady Kachuk can. 
In fact, it's kind of rare to find players who can do that like Kachuk can, and also be able to produce points like Brady, but Curtis McDermott is like the only guy in New Jersey who has been able to police the game in a way and stand up for his guys and be a physical presence because the Devils just don't really have too much bite in that respect. So adding a guy like Brady instantly makes the team more difficult to play against, and this, of course, would be a good addition of goal scoring as well. And so when it comes to what the Devils could potentially give up for Brady Kachuk, I wanted to turn your attention to this article on PucksAndPitchforks.com, published by Nick Villano, three New Jersey Devils trades to actually move the needle on Brady Kachuk. Brady Kachuk's name has been in the media, but the Ottawa Senators captain is likely not getting traded. If he is, though, the Devils should be front of the line asking what the cost could be. Article will be linked in the description, as will the other article, as well as the video clip. But if we go over to what Villano writes about in the first trade proposal, this is what he brings up. The New Jersey Devils would receive Brady Kachuk in exchange for Nico Hishier. Captain for captain, this would be one of the most insane trades in history. We've seen some insane trades that involve two star players for each other. The Devils have been involved in many of them, but this would be even bigger than Taylor Hall for Adam Larson. It might even be bigger for Subban for Weber because of everything it means for both of these franchises. Kachuk for Nico Hishier would send one team's captain to another for their captain. This would be the first captain for captain trade in a decade. In 2014, the Rangers sent Ryan Callahan to the Lightning in a deal that sent Martin St. Louis to Broadway. However, St. Louis was near the end of his career and Callahan did not have the ceiling of Kachuk or his year. This would be changing everything we thought we knew about both of these teams. Now, of course, there are two other trade proposals in this article that are talked about, and the link will be in the description if you want to read the rest of them yourself, but I wanted to focus on this idea, Nico Hishier for Brady Kachuk. Now, if you talk about the center situations on both of these teams, one of the interesting parts about New Jersey is the fact that they have Simon Nemich in their team, and part of the reason I thought that's interesting is because Nemich was drafted second overall in the 2021 draft. The New Jersey Devils passed up on the opportunity to take Shane Wright and Logan Cooley and instead went with a right-handed defenseman. The reason for that is because, hey, plain and simple, they already had too many centers. They have Nico Hishier, they have Jack Hughes. If they were to take a Wright or a Logan Cooley and one of these guys became a top-line center, then what? You're playing him on the third line? No, sorry, no thank you. They're not going to do that. But if you're trading away a guy like Nico Hishier to open the door for a Brady Kachuk, all of a sudden, things get a bit more flexible down the middle. Of course, you'd have to actually get your replacement on your second line, but when it comes to the Devils and the options they have, I mean, Eric Haula is there. Do you really want to say he's going to be the guy? I don't know. The question is, would the Devils actually be in a position to sacrifice a center for a winger guy? They already have a pretty all-right winger core with Jesper Brat, Timo Meyer, Dawson Mercer, and... Look, soon to be Alexander Holtz, if you add in Brady Kachuk there, that is five very legitimate forwards for your team, and an extra center spot that needs to be filled. You're going to have to hope that somebody is capable of stepping in, or you call up one of your other centers and hopefully put them in a position to succeed. But if you head over to the Ottawa Senators and their perspective, if you take away Brady Kachuk and you shove Nico Hishier into a number one center spot... All of a sudden, it moves Pinto down, it makes things more interesting in terms of the down-the-middle conversation for Ottawa, and you have to start thinking, okay, what is going to be your first-line replacement? This screenshot of the Ottawa Senators and their profile is a little bit off because it doesn't include Josh Norris, it doesn't include Tim Stutzla, but if you wanted to max everything out, I mean, if you wanted to play a guy like Stutzla on the wing and have his sheer down the middle, which would allow Stutzla to maybe focus more so on his pure offense... That sounds like a pretty good idea. Josh Norris could be a scoring threat on the second-line center position. Shane Pinto could be an elite third-line center. Have Giroux, Batherson, Ridley Gregg rotating around there on the winger spots. It could be pretty nice, honestly, if you think about what a two-way, capable top-line center like Nico Hischier could bring to the Ottawa Senators. But, of course, for the price of Brady Kachuk, is that really what you want? I don't know. So ultimately, this video is just a thought. It's an idea tossed out there by a few articles and a guy on NHL Network TV. I want you to let me know your thoughts in the comments. How do you feel about the idea of Brady Kachuk getting traded for Nico Hish here? And do you think the Devils could be a suitable Kachuk destination? It's more likely that he stays in Ottawa. It's more likely he never gets traded. 
But for now, because these conversations have been percolating, I wanted to talk about this in a video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this British Astros 9 and bye.